The question is, what is chivalry today? Some of you may think chivalry is dead and you're disappointed about that. Some of you may want chivalry to be dead because you think it's archaic. And some of you may have never been taught what chivalry was or is, or you're just confused by it all. So a little history lesson is that chivalry, as far as I know, was first kind of developed around the time of knights. And knights were these men that were held to this code of honor of different things that they were called to do with officials and in the community. And one of the things is that women had been treated so poorly that one of the code of honors was you have to treat women with respect and show them honor and gallantry and just really esteem women. And one of the things that I've noticed about men is how they put respect on towards one another and towards women is oftentimes in acts of service. And so I was mentioning to one of my friends, we'll call him Billy the Biker, um, that I was telling him that I was thinking about this idea of chivalry and giving him a little bit of the history of, you know, it's acts of service and showing respect towards women. So the next day, he told me this story where he was riding his bike up to school, and it's a really steep hill, and he saw a girl from his class. And she's getting to the top of the hill, and he thinks, oh, chivalry, acts of service. And just a side note, if you've ever seen like the Tour de France or any professional bike ride, one of the things that bikers will do is they'll come up behind each other and put their hand on um, the seat of the bike or on the back of the biker and just push them along for a little bit. They all do it for each other. They don't say, hey, I'm getting really tired, do this, or hey, I'm about to do this, do you need my help? They just do it. It's just commonplace, act of service. And oftentimes they do it mostly for the best rider to just assist them and help them along. And so he's thinking, oh, this is going to be awesome. So he comes up behind her, puts his hand on his bike. He's so excited to help her out. And the minute he does that, she turns around and goes, screw you, and rides off. He pulls his hand back, he's just, he's just flabbergasted. He's like, what in the world? And sends me a text and he's like, I don't think I really understand this whole chivalry thing. I, I, I think we're all a little confused by it. She was probably left confused, he was left confused, and they just kind of missed each other. One of the reasons that I think that they missed each other is because I, I sense that chivalry, even, I mean, you don't have to use that word, but acts of service or showing women respect has shifted from being something of service to, in 2010, can be misconstrued into a statement. What do I mean by that? Um, like a statement that I could interpret from a man doing some type of act of service, of something chivalrous, would be him, instead of doing something kind, I could take it as, uh, you know, joy, by me doing this, I'm saying that you are weak. Or joy, by me doing this, I'm saying that you are less than me. Or joy, by me doing this, I'm trying to take advantage of you and get you into bed or something. So it's like, wh where did I come up with that? Why, did I, why have I been in indoctrinated to believe that if men are doing something like that, they're making a statement that I'm less than them? And so it's got to be confusing for men as well because they're told, treat women with respect. And so if they're told treat women with respect, and they oftentimes do respect in acts of service, and then they do acts of service, and we say, what are you saying about us? What type of statement are you making? Then they will stop doing that. You know, Billy is never going to do that to a girl ever again. And I'm sure anything else, like opening a door or doing anything that's, you know, old-fashioned or chivalrous, he'll, he'll think twice about because who wants to be responded to like that? Who wants to have someone turn around and say, screw you? And so what happens is men become paralyzed and then moves into something that we hear often, passivity. I hear so many girls saying, there's so many passive men. Why are guys so passive? Why won't they do anything? And I'm not saying that women are to blame for men behaving the way that they are, but I just think, you know, we live in a time in 2010 now where women are so strong. I know I can do anything that a guy can do. And so I'm kind of excited because I'm like, if I'm going to show respect to men, if I'm going to um, accept the things that they do as an act of service to me, it's going to be authentic because I don't need them for it. So why should I fear these things? Why should I misinterpret? And I, I just need to start assuming the best about people. And that's what I want to choose to do. Um, so I hope that encourages you guys. I hope that you will not fear being chivalrous. I would like to see more chivalry happen. Um, and girls, I would just say, yes, there are some bad guys out there who, will d who do think women are less than them, who, who do want to manipulate women with, by doing kind things. But for the most part, 
guys like my friend Billy are just good hearted and we don't want to shame them into never doing something like that again. So I think we both have power. I think um, if we want men to treat us with respect and want them to empower us, we also need to treat them with kindness and respect so that we can empower them to be strong men. On the next Ask Joy, Joy reveals that she is a boss of Portland CD Underbelly. You need to knock off Johnny tonight. He's been snitching. Take him down to the docks. You know what that means. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs>